Hello, friends. Today, you're joining us for the third book in the Finn the Frog collection. The first book was, This Book is Perfect. The second, This Book's on Fire. And today, you're joining us for This Book is a Mistake by Ron Kiris. Artwork by Arthur Lynn. And as always, be sure to subscribe if you're not already. It's the best way to support this channel. Hiya, kid. Finn the Frog here. <laughs> but you probably already know who I... What did you just do? Did you doodle on my page? Okay, listen. Maybe you're new around here, but I like my pages to be clean. The only person who's allowed to draw on these pages is my illustrator, Mr. Arthur Lynn. Got it? Actually, that's not too bad for a kid your age. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty good. You know, this is my third book, and I'm getting a little tired of plain old Finn. And don't get me wrong, Mr. Arthur is great, but I don't think a few changes could hurt. <laughs> oh boy, I can't believe I'm saying this, but yes, get those crayons out. You can do it, Finn. It's just some color. Pages are meant to have color. It will be okay. I didn't think I'd be this nervous, but it's a good kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm excited, I think. Yes, I'm excited. I'm sure of it. Let's do this. I've always wanted to look stronger. These arms are so thin. I can barely see them. You think you could help with that? Whoa! Not bad at all. Uh, a little uneven, but look at these muscles. Nice. If only my big brother Fred could see me now. I feel like I could lift one of those African bullfrogs over my head. Hey, let's keep this going. How about my eyes? I've never had the best vision. And I think I'd look pretty good with glasses, don't you? Can you draw some on for me? Superb! These glasses will be able to spot flies from miles away. I don't have a mirror, but they look good, don't they? Woohoo! This is awesome! Okay, this next one is going to sound weird, but I've always dreamed of having some hair. Uh, nothing too fancy, just something to add some style. Uh, this hair feels interesting. Hey, why are you giggling over there? Does the color match my shade of green? Mm, never mind, let's continue. Phew, muscles, glasses, hair. I must look really impressive now. Only, this is kind of embarrassing, but people are always laughing at my little frog bottom. Do you think you could give me some pants? Humans do seem to love them. Thanks, kid. There's no way they'll laugh at me now, right? These pants are quite comfortable, but a bit too long. Oh, just make me a little taller. I've always been the shortest in my family anyway. Oh, my brother's going to be so jealous. Oh, my heavens, too tall, too tall. The ground is so far away. I'm getting dizzy. Uh, please give me something to sit on before I fall. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought being different would make me happy, but I was wrong. I don't even feel like a frog anymore. I feel strange. It feels wrong. I made a mistake. I wish Mr. Arthur was here. I know he could do something to help. Mr. Arthur, you're here. I really made a mess of myself. Can you fix me? I realize you know what's best for me now. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just so glad to be me again. And look at these sweet shoes. Now I am a little taller. You're the best. Mm, say, kid, I've been through a lot today. And I've worked up quite the appetite. Do you think you could draw me a big, juicy fly? Mm. 
<gasps> too big! Too big! Erase it! Erase it! Please! This isn't funny! <laughs> Mr. Arthur? Help! The end. <laughs> hey, be sure to check out the other Ron Kiris books and there's more to come.